You know, nothing can get any better and sweeter than the moment that we're in right now. Uh, this brother has been in my company, in my space, ever since 2005. To see his growth from where he was to where he is now is beyond the word of phenomenal. We have a lot to talk about tonight, and I'm happy to welcome him back to home, his second home. And that is the love king himself, Brother Raheem Devine. My brother, it's always hey. a pleasure to seeing you. Thank I you. want to know, you got to bring me up. Because the last time we spoke, you were about to go on the road yeah. with Lettucey. Yeah. How was that tour? How was that tour? It was amazing, man. We knocked out 19 cities. Uh, shout out to uh, Gilead Sciences, my partner, community, you know, sponsor, my sponsoring community partnership uh, that I had during that tour uh, as well. You know, I, it, it, it was definitely a party with a purpose for me every night. I'm sure it was. You know, uh, it got you exposed to even a larger audience. Yeah, because Legacy is no joke. Yeah, and you gain new fans. Many people have heard your music, but I actually never saw you in performance. And we know if you Absolutely, don't know. Absolutely, man. I think that that's the beauty of like you know, uh, teaming up with somebody like you know, artists like Legacy or her magnitude. You know, uh, we're able to expose each other to different audiences. You know what I mean? She yeah. has a. She has a huge audience. I have a huge cult following audience as well. So to be able to bring them together under one roof and, you know, collectively to be, you know, if, you know, for one for one common goal of soul and R&B music and a, and a, and a great night of, of, of live entertainment, uh, it was it was received very well, you know, state to state. You know, sure. Lennox shared with me prior to going on the tour that she was really happy that you were a part of her brand yeah. and doing this tour with her because she said, Raheem is simply going to bring all those ladies. Yeah, oh, no, even for more sure. on top of what I have. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. you brought it. I know you did, brother. Yeah, for sure. So for that sure. was a good experience. And now in October, yeah, you're about to jump off another tour. Yeah, yeah. We already kind of started, you know, rolling it out. Um, you know, we're we're in, we're, in a, we're you know rolling into the fall leg, you know, transitioning out of summer in the fall, the fall in love tour. Um, you know, a, a series of city winery appearances, and um, you know, that run all the way through the fall and winter. Uh, mm -hmm. As well as you know, uh, other spot dates that we're doing, CB CBC weekend and <laughs> week and just all the things, you know. What's been new in your life that you never experienced, but you're happy you've encountered it? Uh, man, new experiences in my life. Um, I w I mean, dealing with the transition of loss of my dad. You know what I'm saying? In the last okay, two no years, as, as has been a huge, you know, transition transition and experience for me. Um, you know, I won't I won't. You, 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 one might say, well, what was something the positive to come out of that? But uh, it's been my encounters, you know, with with therapy and um, and then and, and which allowed me to heal in other areas as well as you know the loss of my dad and mourning him. Mm -hmm. uh, but it allowed me to heal in other areas and, and patch up relationships, you know, with family members and you know being closer with my with my with my children and my sons and you know what I mean I often brag about having the 10,000 hours or, um, you know, being excited about having 10,000 hours on the stage, um, you know, or 10,000 hours, you know, in the studio. But I'm more concerned with, you know, these days with like the 10,000 hours in and being, still being able to, you know, um, be an adult child to my mom and kicking it with my mother who's like 80, God you bless know, you. and, uh, and you know, and in the ten thousand I was in on fatherhood, you know, plus or whatever, you never stop being a father. You know what I mean? Uh, whether you whether you in the home or not in the home, like you can still be part, you know, of the experience and um, have cool ways to co-parent and and all of those things. So I, you know, that that those have been more the exciting and important things to me. Like music is. Uh, I got that, you know, I got that on, I, I feel like I had that on lock and I'm in a cruise, I'm on a cruise control with that. Uh, but I'm also in a, still in an ascension with my career as an artist, you know. Uh, we're gearing up for the 20 year anniversary of the Love Experience. Um, next year marks the 20 year anniversary of my first album, The Love Experience, and we're going to be doing the Love Experience tour. So, you know, just, just, just uh, proper prayer and preparation, you know. Um, align with purpose. I'm gonna rewind. So let's start with the uh, Love Experience tour. You got to bring back the artist. Oh, for sure, for sure. Because this, was the, I never saw a performance, an R&B performance with the with an artist, and and Raheem introduced that at least to my world and yeah. a lot of people around my world. Yeah, so that's shout the first out to Demont Pender, shout out to Wes Felson, who also, yeah, um, who's been you know visual artist and also recording artist. Um, 
you know, one half of the crossroads. So, yeah, we're looking to bring back the authenticity of all the things that people remember, <laughs> um, you know, when they, when, they, when they first experienced the love experience. Brother, you have added in tremendous ways to the culture of R&B. Mm -hmm. I, I hope you understand that you made your mark in this game. They say sometimes you have to wiggle your way in. Mm -hmm. You kind of came in with a definitely bold approach. Yeah. And uh, it hasn't stopped. And it's taking you to where you were, mm -hmm. to where you are. Another proud thing I'm happy to hear you say that, which a lot of us are just now getting to the forefront of, and that is recognizing that no one comes into any relationships with no baggage, yeah. with no extra weight. Yeah. And for you to have seeked out therapy, as I have seeked out therapy, just to kind of help you clear things out of your mind, mm -hmm. realign with certain things, that's huge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope more of us, especially black men, uh, tap into that. Because, you know, even from the days of when our uh, ancestors were enslaved, you know, a lot of that is still carried on to us in this current day and age. So we're carrying a lot of weight that we don't even know what we're carrying. And for you to do that is big. Because I had to do the same thing once my mom passed away. Yeah. And, uh, it, it helped out tremendously. Yeah. And I'm still continuing the process. So yeah. It's a process to this game. Yeah, yeah, for absolutely. You know, um, mental health is definitely a huge initiative. Uh, mental health and having those conversations amongst black men and encouraging black men and young men uh, and just people in general to, to get therapy has definitely been uh, one of my new initiatives with my foundation, the Love Life Foundation. You know, I've had the opportunity to be down on Congress and lobby, you know, mm. and, 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 and talk about, um, you know, my life and, you know, the period of my life being being a caregiver for, for, for you know, my parent, you know, at the time and yeah. just the importance of all these things and how they, you know, there's a correlation between all of that and, you know, um, and, 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 and our mental health and, and, and being, but also being supportive of, uh, of um, you know, our parents in their old age and how that, and how that, you know, how we become, it's like a, almost like a, a role reversal happens, you know. My mom always said, yeah. we're once an adult and twice a child. Yeah. So, by you saying that, confirmed that truth that she has always put forth. Yeah. 1992, new flick that's out. Yeah, man. My man Tyrese is behind me. Yeah. And you're on the soundtrack. Yeah, man. Shout out to this happen? Shout out to October London. Yeah. Um, you know, we met a few years, a few, well, I said a few years back, a few months back. Um, you know, earlier this year, it touring, him touring with Jay Brown, who's another good friend of mine, uh, musically, and uh, I went to go support Jay and connected with October, and we've been talking about doing some work. You know, um, when we when we met initially, he was very excited. We were very excited to, to embrace and meet one another, and he, you know, he, t he spoke about how, um, you know, I've been an influence, one of his influences, you know what I mean, in terms of musically, and, and um, and, and, and wanting to connect, you know, possibly on our, on our entire project or, you know, start with a record. So needless to say, man, you know, we, we both uh, been st you know, stay, staying on each other about it between our busy schedules. And then he reached out a few weeks back and was like, yo, I got the record, um, which, which was produced, and, you know, I believe, you know, produced, co-produced by him, uh, written by him and, you know, uh, when he sent it to me, you know, what I mean, he, he left the he left the open gaps for me to do my thing. So, um, so it gave us an opportunity to co-write together and, you know, harmonize and all the things we do as you know soul and R&B singers and uh, yeah, phenomenal talent, you know. Um, and then he called me and then it was just like so excited. We didn't know initially what was going to happen with the record, but we just knew we wanted to get some records in. And um, you know, he reached out like maybe like a week or two later and said, "Yo, I think I got good news." Uh, I think we made the soundtrack for the movie and wow. maybe using it in a movie as well. So, yeah, um, excited about that, man. Um, I, I had the opportunity to see Tyrese. We got honorary doctrines about two, three weeks ago. I got to call him a doctor. Now. Yeah, doctor, doctor, <laughs> doc, doctor Devine, you know what I mean? So, um, and Tyrese was excited about the record and had let me hear the progress of the record and, the, you know, the, I guess you could say the final mix and mastering and the things they did production wise. And um, he was super excited about it as well. So, yeah, man, um, look forward to hopefully working with October Moore and you know Tyrese on some stuff as well musically. And um, you know, it's 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 interesting, man, to still be in a conversation. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, with the newer artists, you know, yeah. the October Londons and you know Jay Browns of the world. And but you know what? That is so important, man, to connect with with your colleagues that's no in your circle. No doubt. But more importantly. 
um, as someone just recently brought up to me, it's important that Lavelle, I heard Lavelle speak on it, mm -hmm. it's important that we connect to the legends too. Oh, no, for sure. Because they have those lessons. Yeah, they have that for wisdom, sure. For sure, for sure, for those sure. Those hard knocks that maybe you brothers haven't experienced yet. Yeah, and yeah. And for me, like, you know, I'm, I've been doing this so long, you know, like, now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm like the big homie now. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know what I mean? Who would ever think, man? Yeah, you know? like the big homie. So, you know, so I just try to fall in suit, you know, wherever um, legacy artists might run in another direction or not, or, or listen to the chatter or, you know, I like to block the noise out and, and, and connect and, um, you know, humbly like, yo, if we can work, let's work, you know what I mean? And, and, and figure it out and do some touring and, you know, share the stage together and all of that. You it's know all about mean? getting that bag, brother. Nah, for and, sure. And making your lives and your family's lives. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and correct, and, 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 you know, and your peers, you know, had the ability to become like, your, you know, real, like real live, like friends, or we check on each other and like, you know, me and Lavelle, we, 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 we tight too, you yeah. know what I mean? So, um, you know, I've taken, I've, I've taken upon myself to, to, you know, a leadership role to, to mentor to a lot of the artists that are independent and trying to figure out their way and navigate through this thing. You know, I've been able to figure out a few things and or a lot of things, obviously, yeah. um, and you know, I'm not into like harboring the information about, you know, I think I think when we connect with other artists and get them, you know, I, I understand it's a level of competition and all that, but it's enough venues, it's just enough fans, it's enough bread out here for everybody I'm so glad to, 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 um, to coexist, yeah. you know, and support one another. Um, and this is how we keep the ecosystem of soul and R&B like truly alive. You know, when we have those conversations about people saying that it's dead or, um, you know, it needs a makeover, or how do we fix the how do we fix the problem? Or, you know, of this or that. Um, I think that it's important for us to uh, support the ecosystem. You know, what I'm saying, and that starts with the information, or, or being like, or being a big homie and, and being able to be like, talk to you know to a newer artist and be like, hey, look, if you need help with this or da 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 da, I'll, I'll look, like I see what you're doing, but just tweak it like that. You know, mm. so um, they just have to be open enough. Yeah, so it's a many, you know, I won't get into all of, but it's, it's people know in the artist community, I'm one of those people that you can like, you know, you can hit me, I'm 24 hours with it, you can hit my line and if, you know, we need to talk about something or, you know, it's people, I've helped them get out of their contracts, I've, I've you know, uh, provided just all different types of information, you know, uh, putting them on the even dot biz or how to monetize in this, in this in, you know, in this climate. Yeah, of the music well, industry, you I know? want you to talk about that even that biz because you laid that on me once before, and yeah. I was like, "Wow, this is a, this is a new kind of twist, and it benefits the artists more." Can you explain? Yeah, that? and since and since we've talked, man, you know, I'm up to like four projects that I'm involved with over at Even Dot Biz right now. You know, my first my first uh, social experiment musically was uh, with the Winter in Love project, which was an eight song project that we dropped back in February, February 14th of this year, and. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's booming, it's done, it's done amazing numbers, you know wow. what I mean? Um, you know, I did a co-release a, a, a co, um, project, you know, uh, Raheem Devon Presents, Raquel Brown, There's No Place Like Knowing, uh, which is now available on, D, on all the DSPs as well. Wow. Um, the live album, you know, most recently, what I put out, and then, and then also a uh, Heartstrings single pack for uh, a new single that's out, you know, Heartstrings. Um, and in all cases, man, you know, I, I, I use even as a, as a, as a, as a pre-release and exclusive, and exclusive catalog site. So I'm not putting out any music anywhere without putting it there first, ah. giving the super fans and, and, and giving my fans the opportunity to be the first to hear it, um, but also monetize it in a way where you know, I get more bang for my buck. You know, um, we, 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 you know, going in, going in to record a record. You got to think about the electricity bill. If mm. you got your own studio, yep. you got to, you know, in some cases, you know, if you if you if you're booking a session somewhere, you got to pay the engineer. You got to get the record mix and master. You got to pay the producers. You got to pay the lawyer to do the deal decks. You know what I mean? And the, and then and then there's this conversation of copywriting things and just all the things, right? These are just different expenses. Um, Moving it around on tour, promo t in some cases doing a promo tour for the new for the newer artists, you know. So how do you make money other than 
besides like you know doing merch and things right. like that right. you know so um even, is it harder now though since you came on the scene um i won't say it's harder it's actually easier um but it's so but the market is saturated too so 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 a new artist coming out is going to have a little bit of a challenge if they don't have a an angle to them, a style to them. Or? Yeah, I mean, you can have the an angle and the style and all of that. The, the 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 main important thing is the hustle. It's the hustle, um, being able to find your tribe. Mm. You know, understanding that it takes time. That you're building something over the course of time. You know, um, I watch an artist. It's an artist I uh, befriended on social media. Her name is uh, Kennedy Ryan. And she's like really dope, right? Yeah. And I've been watching like her evolution, you know what I mean? Um, I've watched artists like uh, La Russell in the hip hop community, mm -hmm. like, um, and the evolution of what they've done, you know, and building it out. It's something to learn from them too, you know, like the younger artists, you right. know what I mean? Because they putting it all on the line. Like, you know, artists like La Russell or artists like, Ken you know, Kennedy, like they're not waiting for a label to come to them or like, when the labels come to them, if they ain't having the right conversations, then it ain't really nothing to yeah. talk about. You know what I mean? They understand that they're the label. They understand that they're a brand. And it's understanding that the more the more you're able to do and the more um, information, um, you know, the more informative you are on, on what it is you do, um, it makes you more valuable to yourself. Is it always for good these days, just like hip-hop artists, to kind of keep, not a mixtape, but... A product out there, a song, a single album. Nah, for sure, for sure, yeah, you know. Um, you know, I was the first soul and R&B singer to make mixtapes. Exactly. So, you know what I mean? To see that, see how, how that's become the norm and to see that it still exists or the conversation is still being had about, you know, mixtapes and, you know, how, how effective is it, how effective it is, you know. Uh, but the reality is um, all these companies are downsizing, letting artists go. Uh, on a daily, matter of fact, it was the Atlantic Records just had a big, yep. big, you know, they, they, you know, artists don't realize the power that they really have, you know what I mean? Why would you like, say that again? Yeah, a lot of times the artists don't be understanding the power that they have, like, you know, um, the greatest investment you can make is, is to yourself, so if that means, like, downsizing your life in certain areas to be able to invest in yourself, if your career mean that much to you, then you're going to do it, you know what I mean? So I've been, I've been, I've been my own guinea pig for that, you know? Brother, I love it for that. Yeah. that you, got, you got that grind, you got that hustle on. We got the Love King, Zimis Rahim Divine, baby, and we're gonna come back in, in just a moment because I want to talk with him about one of our recent legends that unfortunately just transitioned. His name was Frankie Beverly, an iconic, indistinguished sound that he carried and gave us ever since the 1970s. So we'll be back with more of what you like. Welcome to, uh, welcome to an Intimate Moments, Intimate Conversations, one-on-one -on -one talk with my brother, Raheem Devine, the Love King, is back on the scene. He's never literally left the scene. He, <laughs> just, he just transforms to different levels at different times, so it's great to sit down and catch up with the brother, because a brother who's on the grind is this man right here. Capture his face. That's the brother on the move. That's the brother who's not going to wait until you come to visit him. Matter of fact, I remember the time that you were performing in New York. You got off the stage, ran, ran around the crowd, yeah. ran to a table, where he had his pictures <laughs> and everything right there for the autographs, man. You still do that, bro? Yeah, man. We still do the meet and greets and all of that. You know, I'm out here in, uh, uh, in New York right now for two sold out shows at the City Winery. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, we gonna get <laughs> we gonna get to it always. You know, uh, you know, the City that. Winery has, um, and I mean this respectfully, like they've become like the the quote unquote like Chitlin circuit for like the soul mm -hmm. and R and B community and like I was the guinea pig I feel like I was one of the main guinea pigs and the one that kind of kicked one not the only one but one of the main artists that kicked the door in for other artists to did be you able. have to sell them on the fact of who you were nah nah I mean not so much selling them on the fact of who I am I think it's more like a situation that like numbers don't lie so if I'm coming through and I can do you know eight shows eight shows over the course of four or five days know, 10 shows over the course of four or five days, you know, City Winery, for some artists, they can look at it as a, as, as a gruesome schedule. For me, I look at it as a, as a regiment or as like a way to kind of like boot camp, like R&B boot camp, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, we're doing gigs and, you know, each show maybe maybe 75, 70, 75 minutes, you know, two shows back to back a night, you know, 
um, is giving me an opportunity to like shed and like really master my craft. You know what I mean? And um, it, 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 it makes some good bread doing it. You know. You've been you've been doing that for a minute, man, and I noticed how you transformed your show a lot too. Like you, you seem to move into a level of where Marvin Gaye was at a younger age, um, but more hip, more stylish, more swag, and uh, I think that's important too when you know how to revamp and and enhance your brand from where you were to where you are now. Uh, even though he still uses interesting lyrics like Ladies Touch Yourself, which I've stole, just so you know, uh, when I do my show from time to time. <laughs> I can't do it like Raheem, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I always always preface you and give you props because I don't want you to think I said it. <laughs> I didn't say it, but it works so well, and the ladies love it when you, because you're a performer, man. You're Thank not you. just a singer. You're not just coming out there and, and just standing in front of the microphone. Yeah. And I love the fact that you engage in your audience and you, you allow your audience to talk back and engage with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's important to me to uh to entertain, you know, when I go out and when I go out and to concerts, you know, I, I go out and want to be entertained. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think probably the last the last show that I um most recently attended was the Usher tour, you know, popping out. Um I got a call during you know, while I was in Chicago. Um for the DNC, mm -hmm. and um, it was like, yo, Usher's looking for you. He's looking to bring you out. Uh, he'll be in DC. He wants to bring you out to, to perform a record. And um, you know, we worked previously on 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 on, uh, on albums and, mm -hmm. and music together, and um, I had the opportunity to write a tune for him in the past. And uh, so I hightailed it home, man. It was just a great experience. You yeah, know what I mean? I didn't know I didn't know exactly what I was walking into, but you know, as when when you get certain calls like that, you just go. Yeah, you just show up. You know, what I'm saying trust the process. And uh, his team took very good care of me. Uh, very impressive. They learned the record less than 24 hours. I mean, I, I'm thinking I'm rocking with the DJ he was with the band and the background singers, and he's singing I with the it. band, and they, you know, so it was it was it was a moment. You know what I mean? And um, for him to be such a such a huge artist globally. And to um, willingly and still, you know, uh, share his share his platform with 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 other great artists. You know, it just speaks um, volumes. Just as just even more as to just how dope he is yeah. and thoughtful and, and, and the kind gesture. You know what I mean? Similar to what you were saying just a little earlier. You know how you yeah. So so on you know? levels. You yeah. know what I mean? Because his, his, his you know he's an anomaly. It's yeah, on no, a whole other level. No, you know, you walking into an arena. No doubt. And it's seven thousand. It's seventeen. Excuse me, seventeen thousand, almost twenty thousand people. You know, sold out both nights. You know what I mean? So to um to see the hard work that he's put in, to see um you know. Uh, the, the amount of people he's employing yeah, for the night sure. that was that was the, probably the most impressive part of it like the ecosystem like wow this is like this is a whole operation you know, it was, it was, it, was so it was inspiring you know no doubt you know we're all standing on someone's shoulders and I'll let you go with this um, the legends have come before me have come before you mm -hmm. we lost the legend brother Frankie Beverly you've had an opportunity to be in his presence mm -hmm. on many occasions, maybe have opened up for him. Yeah. What can you reflect upon to just remember the, the life and the legacy of that man? Oh man, he's an icon, he's an icon you know what I mean? To see the type of following that they have, um, have had and will forever have, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I think Frankie's the only, Frankie Beverly is the only artist, along with Maze, where I see them come out and or perform and they got the whole club <laughs> or the whole venue, the whole arena, and all white, everything. All wonder, yeah. Like, you just know what the vibe is. You know what I mean? I don't know how it started or what the story I is behind it. I think it started in New Orleans, because yeah. he was the closer okay. for the Essence Fest for years. Yeah, gotcha. And sold that baby out. Matter of fact, I think he did it with Courtney when one of the shows. Okay, right? yeah, yeah. I think that's where it started at. Yeah, I'm not sure, to, but <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's one, thing for sure, one thing for sure, two things for certain. That, you know, it's something that they, you know, it's a... It's something that they known for that they that they you know that they that they started. No, you know what I mean? They're the innovators. Someone told me yesterday. You know? I think that he started the all white parties. Yeah, and could, that could very well have been the case. Yeah, we weren't really doing them. Yeah, this is a frequency, man. You know, yeah. frequency of love. You you know, you, like myself. You know, um, I, I I feel like that's the highest vibration. And you and you just you know you you can when you vibrate there. 
it's, it's the only great things are going to happen. Only magical things are going to happen. You know what I mean? And um, I think you know he he always had that 528 megahertz mm. frequency in the music. You know what I mean? And it was just live forever. So um, you know for him to be able to be aligned um, and in tune spiritually to do this last run that he did. You know, and the nostalgia of that. Yeah, it was. You know, uh, yeah, man, he's gonna be. He's gonna be missed, but it's definitely been a job well served, you know. And a legacy and a catalog of music that will never die. It's, it's, you know, as you know, because you're a songwriter, it's timeless. Yeah, absolutely. Man, uh, always a great pleasure seeing you. Thank you for Thank sitting you. down and uh, hanging out with me for just a moment. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, come next year, brother, God willing, you know, we're gonna see how this love experience. Yeah, the love experience tour for sure. For that's sure. gonna be, that's gonna be phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal. But leave us with information of where they need to connect with you and how can they be a part of this upcoming tour that you have. Oh, man, you can find me on social media at Raheem underscore Devon on Instagram. Uh, also, X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, Raheem Devon online dot global is the website. Um, you know, and I'm a city away, you know, a show away, Ticketmaster.com. Go there, get your tickets, plane, train, auto, automobile. <laughs> plane, train, or automobile, come see about me. Uh, plenty of music, a plethora of music on the DSPs waiting for you on your smartphone, whether you're an iPhone user or Android user. And please download the even.biz app, E-V-E-N.biz, B-I-Z. And uh, once you create that, once you get the app, create a profile page, you can go music shopping. I got a lot of exclusive music over there for you. Uh, you know, buy the art from the artists. And um, a lot of my cool artist friends are there too. Check out that new Tedra Moses that's over there waiting on you. Um, a lot of cool artists, man. Um, you know, new new, new artists, you know, millennial artists, as well as legacy artists, you know. So shout out to Even.biz as well. Brother, continue success. Thank you. Much happiness love, to you in your life. Yep. He's got love on frequency high. Make sure you connect and cross with the love kid, Raheem Devon. The quiet stone baby in full effect, riding high.